was trying to get something over me. <laughs>
when you hear that phone, answer it! Wait, You're losing too many trees in your district. Understand? Wait, If old Sequoia goes, you go! Get out there and watch old Sequoia!
musician. One guess, guess who? Who never, never starts an argument. Who never shows a bit of temperament. Who's never wrong but always right. Who never dream of starting a fight. Who gets stuck with all the bad luck. No one but Donald Duck.
Confidentially, neither have we. But it seems that long ago, these little creatures were plentiful. But because of an inborn love for travel and adventure, the boodle beetle is now a rare little bug. The bug collector, or <clears throat> the entomologist, regards this little bug as a prize for his collection. Going somewhere, Sonny? Well, I wouldn't be in too much of a hurry if I were you. There's danger lurking out in them woods. And you're just setting yourself for a heap of trouble. You know, there's not many of us boodles left. And it's just because too many of them have set out across that stream and never come back. And here you go, a setting your cap for the same medicine. Sit down, Sonny, and let me tell you a story. When I was a young pumpkin, full of vinegar, <laughs> just like yourself. I had ideas of adventure, too. So, I packed my bag and said goodbye to my home. <laughs> I'm a little funny about this sentimental stuff. 
and set out for what was going to be the doggondest adventure. I'll have to admit it was pretty fascinating at first. Thing like this hat. Uh oh, what's this? Big tall things that disappear in the sky. Phew, a bug sure has to be careful when he's out looking for adventure. But unknown to me at the time, there was lurking in the forest a horrible monster. What's that now? Why, why? Looks like what's about what? Huh? Oh, sorry. I'll give up. Well, I guess I must have walked hundreds of miles that first day. I was just picking them up and laying them down. I just didn't feel up to it. So I thought I'd lay down for a little shut-eye and tackle it in the morning. Well, suddenly, I had the feeling I wasn't alone. And there, on top of the mountain, I saw a most amazing thing. Well, being a curious little fellow, I decided to investigate. And there it was. A horrible monster, millions of feet high. I sneaked out to get a better look, and suddenly, it moved. Huh? I looked again. Two hideous eyes glared at me. A bigger, bigger. That's him. Come on! I can't get him! I can't get him! <laughs> Come on, small fry. Get stuck much at a time. <laughs> oh, there you go, Trigger, you schmuck. You're gonna get away from us again, you So, there I was, headed for I don't know what. It was simply terrifying. I tried again and again to escape, but it was no use. If only I had listened to Mama. Just think of it. The famous Professor Duck. Oh, boy. I can just one more duck. Now what? <laughs> the door opened, and there he was. Suddenly, I realized that this was my last chance. It was now or never. It's done. little bug. And do you think I cared what folks thought about the sentimental stuff? <laughs> no, siree. So you see, Sonny, home isn't such a bad place after all. <laughs> uh, I was just thinking. For all I know, that monster may be looking for me yet. 
your physical examination. Oh, sure. That's a sludge. Okay, buddy. Through that door. Three quarters. Test. Fourteen and a half. Sleeve length. Seventeen three quarters. Left, 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 right, left. 
Come and get it. <laughs> now don't get impatient. Mmm, mmm. Got something good tonight. Beans. <laughs> Bet you can't hardly wait. <laughs> <laughs> huh? Hmm. Never satisfied. Oh, something's got to be done about that boy. Looks mighty pretty, don't it, son? Yep. Ain't it a pity we don't all live in a pretty backyard. But that's just part of growing up, boy being dissatisfied with home vittles. You know, the grass always looks greener on the other side of the fence. Yes, sir, a land of plenty. But it ain't. Not for us beetles, anyway. <laughs> uh, I'll never forget. I had to learn the hard way. I'd been eyeing that pasture for a long time. So, what was there to do but go and have a look-see? It was a paradise, all right. Just full of fancy foods. <laughs> I feel all right, but unknown to me at the time, trouble was on its way. Oh. Ha! What's going on here? So I pulled back and nailed him with my right. Huh? Oh, yeah. huh. Must have got him right on the button. Thank you. 
Was I glad to be back in my own backyard? Home never looked so good. And do you know what I'm a thinking? I just wonder if beans is such bad vittles after all. Surprise for dessert, Sonny. Watermelon. Who's got the sweetest disposition? One guess, guess who? Who never, never starts an argument? Hmm? Who never shows a bit of temperament? Never dream of starting a fight. Gotcha. Who gets stuck with all the bad luck? No one <laughs> but Donald Duck. Yeah. A symphony in color and song echoes deep in the tropics of the South Americans. A treasure of rare and exotic birds. Here in a jungle paradise, nature's little songsters blend in unforgettable harmonies. Zoom, 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 zoom. charming. But let us be on our way, for a treat awaits us behind every twig and vine. Well, enough of that guy. No one bothers with the Araquan. He's the slap-happy clown of the jungle. But wait, there's something wrong with this picture. What's this? Bird Lovers Photographic Expedition.
De bom is klaar, baas. Mooi. Hij moet om middernacht afgaan. Oké, okay, baas. Zo. Wat een verrassing voor Suprem. De raps. Ja, dat wordt een knalfeestje. Heeft u al een koerier besteld, baas? Natuurlijk, man. Die sukkel is al onderweg. Jee. Wat nou als die bom te vroeg afgaat, baas? Dan nemen we een nieuwe koerier, toch? Ik heb mazzel, zo veel mazzel, hoe mijn geluk zou zijn. Niks dan voorspoed, alles gaat goed, hoe mijn geluk zou zijn. Swamp. 
no duck. Here are your orders. Yes, sir. You will parachute at zero six zero zero on position B four. You will proceed down the inland river indicated on your map. Now you're cautioned to be on the alert for snipers and man-eating crocodiles. Yes, sir. A large enemy airfield is known to be located in the ravine eight hundred yards below the falls. This point is F eight. Here you will contact the enemy. You are to surround them and wipe them out. Yes, sir. This mission must be accomplished at all costs. That is all. Prepare to jump. Pardon, I bow my stomach at you, very reverent. That's all right. Happy cherry blossoms to you, please. My boy, also, 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 Shooting the rope right in the center of the middle, just like the Lone Ranger. I do it.
constant labor to live in peace with his next-door neighbor. And on the newcomer falls the chore of getting along with the man next door. Okay. <laughs> yes, Donald, your new neighbor. Here, one see. <gasps> <laughs> you must be the new neighbor. I'll be right over, pal. Okay. Glad to meet you, neighbor. I wonder if I could borrow some ice cubes. Hmm? Say, I can use a cube of butter, uh, some bullion cubes, cube steak, cheese, cucumbers, cantaloupes. Yeah, I can do that. That's right. I got it. <laughs> Thanks a million, buddy. <laughs> Hi, neighbor. Try this. Oh, thank you. Oh, oh, delicious. See? He eats it. <laughs> Trouble with you, Muncie. You're too finicky. Ah, springtime, the season of friendly cooperation among birds and yard birds. Hiya, neighbor. <laughs> Borrow your spade. Fork, trowel, sprayer, pruners, clippers. <laughs> Hey, neighbor! Your tools! Friendship among neighbors is a beautiful thing, but it is as fickle as the wind.
everybody. This is your on-the-spot roving reporter, ready to bring you the fight of the century. All right, folks, now this is how it shapes up. The battle lines are drawn real fine. The fight's just beginning on the property line. They're getting set now. It's a tense moment. Red Hots, get your Red Hots here. That big fellow in the poppy flower shorts. Uh-oh, he's lining up at the fence. Let's watch that property line, punk. <laughs> <laughs> the crowd's really getting a big kick out of this. Nice going, Bat. <laughs> no take me, you little... <laughs> It's a real seesaw battle, folks. No, I got you, punk! You're going great, Fats. You got him worried. Give him the old spike fence. He's gonna give you the old spike fence. All right, Duck. Now get in there and fill. Folks, that just about winds it up. Old Poppy Flower is moving. The little fellow's won out. No, no! It's a draw! One guess guess who? Who never never starts an argument? Hmm? Who never shows a bit of temperament? Who's never wrong but always right? Who never dream of starting a fight? Who gets stuck with all the bad luck? No one but Donald Duck. series is on. It's a beautiful day here at Lanky Stadium. The tension is high as these two great teams clash in the first game of the World Series. DeMarco's the first batter, a right-handed hitter, batting 372. The pitcher puts his foot on the... You're out! <laughs> out is three and two on Cy Cobb. 
the important pitch. Uh -huh. The pitcher is taking plenty of time. Rubs up the ball. Glances over to first. The second. The third. And there's the pitch. Swing. And a miss. He's out. The next batter steps up to the plate. Knocks the dirt out of his... Get your official program here. Skurs and Nowinski comes to the plate, batting 297. The pitcher is ready for his delivery. There's the wind up. The pitch. Red hot peanuts, popcorn. Pitcher is set to go again. Pops up the ball. The wind up. And the pitch. The batter gets set for a bunt. He bunts, but it's a pop ball. He's out. And it ends the inning. What a game. The score is nothing to nothing as we go into the first half of the third inning. Here comes the runner, and the throw. It's gonna be close. He slides, and he's safe at home. Sharp single into left field. Murphy is over, fields the ball. He whips it into second, holding the runner to first base. <laughs> and it brings home run Casey to bat with the bases loaded. Oh, the tension is terrific. Casey waits, and the pitch. It's a long one, and they can't get it. He's around first. Going into second, he's coming on to third, and here he comes to the plate, the throw. <laughs> and the umpire calls him out at the plate, ending the ball game. <laughs> Uh-oh, that sets up a terrific argument. Casey is really laying it into the umpire. <laughs> and he's sending Casey to the showers. <laughs> Who's never wrong but always right? Who never 
never dream of starting a fight. Right. Who gets stuck with all the bad luck? No one <laughs> but Donald Duck. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
Plastic Hour with Professor Butterfield. Good morning, Junior Inventors. Good morning, Professor. As I promised you last week, this morning we are going to bake an airplane out of junk. Oh, boy, oh, boy, oh, boy, oh, boy. Is your junk ready? Yes, sir. You betcha. All right. Then let's get started with our play. Be sure and have a good hot fire under your pot for cooking the plastic. While your plastic is simmering, stir thoroughly until a creamy texture is attained. Now we'll pour the batter on the griddle and let it bake. You have your blueprints for the motor parts and your instructions, so while you're baking your motor, we will entertain you with some music played with all plastic instruments. Assembly toasting? Well, don't let it burn. See how light it is? It floats like a feather. I'll bet you forgot to bake your helmet. Hurry up. I'll wait for you if you'll put a wiggle on. Now, the moment we've been waiting for. The first flight in our plastic plane. Well, <laughs> how does she work? I thought so. This little number will do anything. Climbs like a rocket. <laughs> and she'll dive like a comet. Be careful, or you pack out.
Really, Professor, does the plane have any faults? Yes, one fault. It melts in water. Uh -uh. So don't dare get it wet and avoid all rain clouds. Is your nose running? Well, wipe it off. Wipe it off. Are your pants slipping? <laughs> well, don't get caught with your pants down. Be sure and keep your eye on your wings. plastic planes, you'll be in the dome. Don't you think it's about time you came in for a landing? Did your plane fall apart? That's funny. <laughs> you know, it always happens that way to me, too. Tune in again next week, and I'll have a new recipe. I guess it's just a fair weather flame. <laughs> Peaceful tonight.
sure put it over on the Sarge. Didn't we, pal? <laughs> we sure put that over, all right. It's me. Oh, you little shrimp! I got you! Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. Thanks!
I don't get that.
Just relax. Let your imagination go. Now turn out the light. Ah, there. That's better. My story begins. A woman speaks. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, but I'm too old. I, I can't swim. I can't swim. Isn't the view lovely from up here, Harold? Harold! Harold! You're pushing me! Look, George! The ape! The ape! He's behind you! I sell just six more subscriptions. I'll win a real moxie bicycle with a bell and a horn and coaster brakes. <laughs> <laughs> See? Now you're gone and bent the wheel. What's this? Then you and Dumbledore start my uncorrupt and I'll stick to the school. Oh, just one more big, big job. Skip for the dough. <laughs> big Louie chuckled. Leave them other guys holding their sack. And then... Big Louie Debney's thoughts were interrupted as Dopey Davis nervously entered the room, his shifty eyes furtively glancing over his shoulder, as if in apprehension. <laughs> Big Louie leaped to his feet. Okay. He shouted. Hand over them foils. I ain't got him, Big Louie. Honest, I ain't. I'm innocent. Innocent, I tell you. You, you gotta help me. You just gotta, you gotta, Louie. You, you can't let him do it. <laughs> They're here. They're gonna get us. Scram. Not so fast, pretty boy. You've got them portals. Give them over, rat. I ain't got them, copper. Honest, I ain't. Well, then who has got them? Who's got them? Why, he's got them. Aha! Just as I thought. Aren't you ashamed? A big guy like you, stealing from this poor little innocent. <laughs> Just a little girl who's lost her pearls. Oh, dear. I don't know where to find them. Come on, Rat! Give me them pearls! I just know they're around here someplace. Oh, bother. Now look, Chum. We don't want to have to get nasty, do we? No. So give the nice lady back her. <gasps> Kidnapped! Kidnapped! Okay, where's the dame? Sure, and won't she be giving old Patty back the little woman? Okay, Bob. You asked for it. I ain't got a way to make you talk. Clark! The hot iron! Leslie J. Clark. Hot irons. <laughs> hot! You just ain't kidding, Buster. No, you're not. No, you're not. This little number's just about the hottest, hottest job in town. Yes, <laughs> hot. Woo, woo. Uh, say, this is hot. Hot! <laughs> yes, sir, Bob. You're boiling over, boiling over. This one's selling like little hotcakes, little hotcakes. Hot, hot, hotcakes. Uh, right off the griddle, griddle, griddle. Woo, woo, woo. Hot, hot, hot. Here, son, hold these. Ouch! Hot! Let's see now. Where was I? Oh, yes. Oh, diggity. I've just got to find my pearls. Ah! 
Hello, Mabel. This is Pauline. Have you seen my pearls around there any place? Well, you know they're a priceless heirloom, handed down from my great, 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 great grandmother, or somebody, I think. Hello, hello, hello. And now get this. First, it's the pearls that's missing. Oh, dear. Somebody wants to use the vine. Thanks for calling. Bye. Now it's the pearls and the whole dame oh. that's missing. What dame? What dame? He's asking. <laughs> Why this dame? The dame whose pearls you snatched. Now you're gonna cough them up? Or am I gonna have to cut them out of you? <laughs> Stop. Who's that? J. Harold King, the author. That man's innocent. Okay, then, wise guy. Who done it? Who stole them pearls? Who stole the pearls? Why, why, he's a... Oh, dear me. Who is a... Mm, mm, oh, pardon me. Oh, oh, yes. The thief is... Yes, yes? Out with it! Yeah. Hennessy. Hennessy? Uh-huh. Not you, Hennessy. Yes, H-U, Hennessy. That's me. I done it. I done it. But you'll never take me alive. And you, you little rat, you got me into this. Take that! Oh, you got me! Let, let's get out of, out of here. Take, take a powder, beat it, or we'll take the rat. Get the hot seat. Scram! Really nothing there, is there? Thank <laughs> you. 
to give me a ride back. A wild man. Oh, where, where? You wait, son. She's trying to start driving on the dog again. Now let me see ya. Uh, when did I put that bed on? Ah, uh, there you are. <laughs> yep.
got the sweetest disposition. One guess, guess who? Who never, never starts an argument? Who never shows a bit of temperament? Who's never wrong but always right? Who never dreams of starting a fight? Who gets stuck with all the bad luck? No one but Donald Duck. Ladies and gentlemen, get your tickets ready for the big drawing of the new Zoom V8, the super car of the continent. Yeah, 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 it's here, Harry, it's here. Huh? Oh, boy, oh, boy. I'll give away, I'll give away. All right, here it is. The number is three, four. Yeah, 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 yeah. One. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, Hold everything, folks. There's been a slight error. The winning number is three, four, two. is not at the Murphy Brothers showroom by 2 o'clock, a new number will be drawn. So, hurry. Oh, 
enjoying a nice spin through the country in his new Zoom V8. Yes, the car that is streamlined with floating power. Super balloon tires and 25 miles to the gallon. Good luck, Mr. Duck. One guess, guess who? Who never, never starts an argument? Hmm? Who never shows a bit of temperament? Who's never wrong but always right? Yeah. Who never dream of starting a fight? Gotcha. Who gets stuck with all the bad luck? No one <laughs> but Donald Duck. Yeah. Oh, boy. Yes, you're that's beautiful. Let's uh uh Oh, it's my lunch fork. Get right. Bah! Dumb, dumb kids. Don't appreciate nothing. Uh-oh. A flamingo. Yeah. Give me that. Suppose 
Save a little money for a rainy day. Oh, my gosh. Go, 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 go. Oh, what a plan. It's hot, Miss Lou. 